haut, et tant qu'il y a fait. Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear, they're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. Shalom brothers, we're back once again. This is uh, Elder Rakha Ya'ala, Ban Ra'abarn, Ban Yasha'ala. And I have, uh, you know, you introduce yourself brother. Elder Tazadak Ba, Ban Gag, Ban Yasha'ala. That's right, we're back again with another installment of uh, the final American Indian Uprising. Um, anyways, we're just going to go right into it. Like uh, I said when we first came back with the show, or started the show off, that we were going to be going into information about the different tribes of Gag, amongst these different uh, so-called tribal nations, proving that they are in fact the Native American Indians, are one of the lost tribes of the nations of Israel, of the nation of Israel, okay? And we were gonna go into different tribes. Now today, we wanna go into a, a bit of a topic dealing with particular tribes. Now ourselves, we happen to live in Connecticut, okay? Which the state of Connecticut, uh, some of you might be familiar with the Pequot, the Massantucket Pequot tribal nation, and you also have the Mohegan tribes that are up here. There are lots of other tribes. You have, uh, in the town where we live, there's a tribe called the Golden Hill Pagunsic. Okay, and you have different tribes scattered throughout all throughout Connecticut. And these tribes, uh, they're all Algonquin. Well, they were known as Algonquin-speaking tribes. Meaning the dialect that they spoke was an Algonquin dialect. Right. Most of the eastern tribes are on the east coast. Even as far as my tribe, all the way down in Florida, the Seminole, the, the, our dialect is known as like an Algonquin speaking dialect. So those tribes are known as Algonquin nations. Now, all those so called names and different dialects, you're going to find out that all those different dialects that the different native peoples of North America, which a lot of our native people, we call this place Turtle Island, uh, America. What the white man calls America, we call it Turtle Island which was a name which is because the turtle is supposed to be a sacred animal to the native people. You're going to find out that all these so-called dialects and languages all go back to Hebrew, Lashawan Kodash, because when you look, look at certain so-called native dialects and native tongues, it sounds just like the Lashawan Kodash or the Hebrew because why? The so-called Native Americans of the Americas are of the lost tribes of the nation of Israel, man. Glad you said that, brother. Uh, you got something for me? Now, I got something in this book here. It's called The Twelve Tribes by Timothy R. Jenkins. Since Elder Rakoff started off on that note, um, I got to throw this up in there. Uh, page page 105. It says, Indian Customs and Habits. Beautiful. It says here, In the year 1620, a sermon was preached at Plymouth by a Reverend Mr. Cushman, from which the following extract is taken. Relative to the treatment they receive from the natives, it says uh, the Indians are said to be the most cruel and treacherous people in all these parts, even like lions. Which that goes to Genesis where it says, uh, Deuteronomy 33, where it speaks about Gad, he dwelleth as a lion. Now he's explaining here that uh, 
uh, in, in these parts, Gad was known to be like lions. And the characteristic of a lion is a lion is a lion deals with stealth. And that's how Gad was. When Gad went out hunting, when the Braves went out hunting, the Braves they went out and they hunted animals with stealth. And even when they were warned against you so-called white people, they warred against you with stealth. They weren't sitting there in lions shooting arrows at you. They they cloaked themselves with the forest. They used the forest. They would cloak themselves in skins of other animals to get closer to you to kill your ass. So Gad came at you with stealth, just as a lion approaches you with stealth. But um, that's just one, one point right there. Now, the point that Elder Rakai was speaking about here on page 72, uh, he's speaking about the Al Algonquin languages of uh, the Indians of New England. It says here, uh, page 72, the Mohegan language was spoken by all the various tribes of New England. Many of the tribes had different dialects but the language was radically the same. It says, the language of the Delawares and Pennsylvania of the Penobscots bordering on Nova Scotia, it said of the Indians of St. Francis in Canada, of the Shawanese on the, Ohio, on the Ohio, of the Chippewa at the westward of the Lake Huron. And those are all Algonquin speaking tribes That's right. that he's naming off in this book. Okay, the Delaware, which are Lenape, the Lenape was one of the largest tribes in the northeast or even in the eastern region going into like parts of like Ohio and stuff like that, the Shawnee, okay, and those are all uh, Lenape tribes, but the Lenape is split up into different bands. Like out there in New Jersey, you have the Nanakoke, Lenny Lenape, then you have the Ramapo up in New Jersey, the borderline of upstate New York and New Jersey up there in Mawa, New Jersey, which borders upstate New York, you got the Ramapo. Which a lot of those people are all friends of mine, okay? Um, I know I know a lot of the Ramapoles, I know a lot of the Nanakokes that live out there in South Jersey, going towards Atlantic City. Those are all Lenape tribes, they're all Lenape, but they're different bands. You got Nanakoke, you got Ramapo, okay? Read on, brother. It says, uh, it says, of the Shawanese on the Ohio and of the The Shawnee, the Shawnee. Yep. That was the tribe that the Panther in the Sky came from, Tecumseh. Tecumseh was one of the most honorable, venerated native warrior war chiefs of all time because Tecumseh, he was trying to gather all the native tribes of the East Coast from Ohio all the way down to the Southeast and on that region to come together to drive the white man out of America at that time. All right, around the early 1800s. All right, read on. It says, and of the Chippewas at the westward of Lake Huron were all radically the same with the Mohegan. The same is said of the Ottawas, the Nanakokes. Nanakoke Lenny Lenape that I spoke about out there in South Jersey. It says uh, the months. But they also, the, the Nanakoke had relatives that moved into like Delaware mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So the Nanakoke was from Delaware all the way into Jersey. That was all their land, man. Because they're, they're separated into two, two groups. The Nanakokes have cousins that live in Delaware, and then the rest of them live down there in South Jersey, out there by Atlantic City. Mm. And I just recently went to their powwow a few weeks ago, or about a month ago. I went to the Nanakoke, uh, Nan the Nanakoke Lenny Lenape powwow in South Jersey about a month ago or so that they just held out there. Read on. It says Nanakokes, Munsees, Menomanis, it says Messiahs, it says Saugis. Atoguamis, Kilistunos, it says Nipijans, Algonquins. There's all kind of tribes, man. And you listen to those names that he's reading off, they sound just like the Lashwan Kodash. Yep. They sound like Hebrew. Okay? Yep. It says uh, Algonquins, Winnebago's, uh, etc. Uh, See, that's why guys like Nate, when you try to negate the Hebrew, you negate a lot of the information, man. That's right. You, you have to know the Hebrew. And you got to deal with the Hebrew because then it links in with other things. Man. When you know the Hebrew, then you can say, wow, well, that sounds like the Hebrew. And that can lead you to other information, man. So you got to deal with everything. Dealing away with the Hebrew is like just doing a little part of the knowledge, which is what Nate is doing. I don't want to make this about Nate, which is what Nate is doing, that demon, Nate. Okay, read on. It says, uh, Dr. Edwards asserts that for the pronouns common in other languages, they express the pronouns both substantive and objective by affixes or letters or syllables added at the beginnings or ends of both of their nouns. In this particular, 
the structure of their language coincides with that of the Hebrews. Oh, read that part again? It says, in this particular, the structure of their language coincides with that of the Hebrews. With that of the Hebrews. Because these, these are scholars, these are so-called educated, so-called white men back then that were studying the native tribes and they knew the Hebrews. Esau, when they took over everything, when they took Israel down all over the earth, they stole our records. So they knew what was what. Yep. These devils, these scholars, man, and these so-called top uh, witches, man, they knew what they were doing. So they studied the Native American people over here in Turtle Island, and they said, "Yeah, these people, they def their customs go back to the." And they knew that, and they knew the history. They was, they took over everything, and they stole our records. And they knew that some of the tribes of Israel had migrated to another part of the world. Yeah. So when they got over here, they said, "Oh, we found them," because they already knew that the so-called Negroes that they had in slavery were Israelites. The top elite scholars. And the elites of the society back then knew, okay, the bankers knew. Of course. The, 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 the so-called Jewish bankers, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, they knew that those slaves that they were bringing on those boats were Israelites and that they weren't no damn Africans. They knew that. That's why in slavery, slaves were not allowed to read the Bible. That's right. Okay? They were not allowed to read. That was a, uh, that was a law. That was a, uh, a, a law punishable by death if a slave was found reading or well, if anybody taught a slave how to read, you could be punished and imprisoned. Okay, there were laws back during that time about things to do and things not to do with slaves. And if anybody broke those laws, you'd be either imprisoned or death. Okay, so they knew that, okay, the Indians, and that's one thing the white man hated. He did not want the Indians coming together with the so-called blacks. He didn't want that. Nope. Okay? That's why they came down on my tribe, the Seminoles, so hard, because we were bringing in the so-called Negro slaves amongst us and the white man, that, that scares the white man, the so-called white man more than anything. Negroes and Indians coming together. Negroes and Hispanics coming together. Yep. Every time the tribes kind of form some kind of a bond, Esau tries to break that, man. Okay? It says, uh, in this particular, the structure of their language coincides with that of the Hebrews. In an instance in which the Hebrew differs from all the languages of Europe, ancient and modern. That's right, because Esau and them scholars know what the well, the Hebrew. Read. With this difference, the Hebrews join the affixes to the end of the words, whereas the Indians and pronouns of the singular number prefix the letter or syllable. It says, but in the plural number, they add others as suffixes. Also, as the, as the word is increased, they change and transpose the vowels, as in Tomo, Tomohican, a hatchet. It says, Indum, Indumhican, my hatchet. The O is changed into a U and transposed after the manner of the Hebrews. Likewise, in some instances, the T is changed into a D. It says, besides uh, what has been observed. That shows you these devils back then really studied. Yep. See, Esau has a mind, unlike a lot of our own people. They actually set scholars to sit down and study the Hebrew, which is our ancient language, which is their ancient language too. Even the, 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 the Esau the, is a Hebrew. Esau is a Hebrew. So they studied the ancient language of earth, of man on the earth, and they came up with it and say, "Hey, man, yeah, you know these these Indians, they, they got to be descendants of the lost tribes of the Israelites that were lost, that that dispersed." You know. Yeah.